Imagine athletes running onto the field without stretching, preparing, or mentally focusing on the activity they're about to engage in. It wouldn't make any sense, would it? Athletes who want to perform at a high level need to prepare for every event. The same holds true for presentations. If you want to be your best, it's critical that you prepare your body, voice, and mind for the task ahead. Preparation isn't just about knowing your material. It's about getting into the right physical and mental state to effectively deliver it. When you prepare properly, you feel more confident and you're more engaging, articulate, and responsive to your audience. I've developed a series of exercises that will take 10 to 15 minutes to prepare myself for my presentations. These focus on three key areas, the body, the voice, and the mind. For body preparation, I suggest you start with some light stretching to release any physical tension. If you're feeling especially nervous, do jumping jacks, push-ups, or deep squats to burn off some of that excess energy. Next, engage in various deep breathing exercises to calm your body and center your thoughts. For voice preparation, it's important because it is your primary presentation tool. Warm it up with exercises for your vocal cords that prepare your range. Go from the highest highs to the lowest lows. Practice with your volume. Take it as loud as you can. Take it as to a whisper. You're not going to speak this way in front of a group, but it's going to prepare that instrument, your voice, for the vocal range you need to create a more of an experience for your audience rather than just deliver facts and figures. This ensures that you're ready to speak with clarity and expression. Mental readiness is crucial. Five minutes before I'm introduced, I ask myself five questions that help me center my focus on the audience. I, I ask myself questions like, why am I here? A good answer to that question, by the way, is not because I'm getting well paid. <laughs> no, you want to focus on what is the benefit you're going to provide the people sitting in front of you. Another question I ask is, am I present? Am I caught up in thoughts about something going on at home or outside that room where I'm about to speak? Those five questions I ask help me get totally focused on the individuals in front of me who are there because they need something of value from me. This also helps me feed off their energy and reduce any nervousness because I'm focused on their benefit and not my own thoughts. By dedicating 10 to 15 minutes to these preparation exercises, you will transform your presentation from ordinary to extraordinary. You'll feel more in control. Your audience will notice the difference in your delivery. Like any athlete or entertainer, if you prepare for every presentation, you give yourself the best chance to perform at your highest level. Our featured resource is based around the idea that every storyteller faces challenges, and sometimes it's hard to keep your audience engaged, or maybe you're not sure how to make your stories relatable and impactful. But what if you could turn these challenges into opportunities? With our High Impact Storytelling Abs Toolkit, you'll discover how to navigate these obstacles and come out on top. Our toolkit will guide you through easily creating the first version of your story, creating emotional connection with relevant narrative details, and entering each presentation situation with confidence that you are ready. Now, in a few days, we'll post a special video that delves deep into the toolkit and how it can elevate your storytelling. Keep an eye out for our next post.